Hello everyone and welcome to another devlog video for Homegrown, the casual farming game I'm making using my own engine. And this week I'm going to be implementing a new feature that allows the player to make their own compost. Before I get started with that though, I just want to quickly show you what I've been working on over the last few weeks, because it's been a little while since I made the last devlog video. So recently I've been completely redesigning the way that the inventory in the game works. Previously, the way that it worked is that if I wanted to change the tool that I'm using, so at the moment I'm using the shovel tool, if I want to change the watering can, I had to open up the inventory, click on the watering can, close the inventory, and then I could start using the watering can. And if you're constantly changing tools, that whole process becomes a little bit annoying. So I redesigned the system and the inventory is now always showing at the bottom of the screen here. So if I want to change tools, I can do that very quickly in a single click and it's just so much easier and it removes a lot of friction from the gameplay and it really feels a lot better to use. Obviously though, 12 slots isn't really enough to hold all the items that you own. So I've now also added some extra storage in the house. So at any time you can click on the house to access your storage and then you can move things from your inventory into storage or vice versa. So that's the new inventory system. I've still got a few more things planned for it, which I'll implement in the future, but today I'm going to be getting started on a new feature. So my plan for this week is to implement a way for the player to make their own compost. You might remember a few devlogs ago, I implemented compost, which you could spread around the beds to help your vegetables grow better. Um, but the only way to get compost at that stage was to buy it from the shops. So now I want to make it possible for the player to make their own compost. And uh, that's what I've just been planning out here, just planning out how this feature is going to work. And to start off with, I need to make a new item. Just finished making this new plant matter item and uh, made the icon for it, set up the item file and got it loaded up in the game. You can see it in the inventory here. And this is going to be the raw ingredient that you'll need to start creating your own compost. And you'll get this item as a byproduct of doing certain jobs in your garden. And that's what I need to implement next. So I'm in the weeding tool class here and I've just made it so that every time that you do some weeding, you'll get some plant matter added to your inventory. So I'll just quickly show you that in the game here. So I haven't got any plant matter in the inventory at the moment, but there's this bed that's full of weeds over here. So if I just go ahead and do some weeding, you can see that as a byproduct, I've got a load of plant matter. And there are other things that give you plant matter as well. So for example, when I'm digging a new bed, that also has a chance uh, of giving you some, some of this plant waste. And also when you're harvesting plants and removing dead plants, that also gives you this plant waste. Next up, I've just been doing some work in Blender to create the model stages for the compost heap object, which is what you're going to use to convert your plant waste into compost. And the model stages here are just for when you're filling it up with plant matter before it actually turns into compost. I'll have to make some more model stages for that uh, later. But first, I need to get these models exported and then loaded up into the game. And I'll do that right after I've had some lunch. The compost heap is now in the game. You can see it in item form in the inventory here. And I can then go ahead and place that into the world wherever I want. And it doesn't actually do anything yet. Um, I'm just manually cycling through the model stages here so that you can see what it looks like. I'm working on the functionality of the compost heap next. And I've started off by working on the calculations for which model stage it should be using. So now depending on how full the compost heap is, it then uses that to calculate which model stage it should be using. So for example, if I set this to zero and empty the compost heap, you'll see that it uses the first 
uh, the first model stage, so the compost heap looks empty, and then if I fill the compost heap up, then you can see that the model stage reflects that and it shows the compost heap being full. So just been working on putting these concepts together to make it possible for you to now add your plant matter to the compost heap to start filling it up. So I've got some plant matter in my inventory here. I'm just going to select it and then click on this empty compost heap and you can see that adds the plant matter into the compost heap. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly cheat and spawn in some more plant matter. And if I add that, you can see uh, the compost heap starts to fill up. And as I add more and more plant matter, the compost heap gets fuller and fuller until it's completely full and I can't add any more plant matter to it. So that's pretty much the first half of this feature done. The second half is going to be all about converting this plant matter into usable compost, but I'll start work on that tomorrow. So today I'm going to be working on the second part of this feature, the converting the plant matter into compost. And the way I think this is going to work is the player is going to have a tarpaulin which they can put over the compost heap and that's going to start the process of converting it into compost. Um, so first order of the day, I need to create that tarpaulin item. Just finished making the tarp item and added it into the game. Not particularly happy with the icon, but it'll do for now. And uh, I can click on the tarp item and then click on the compost heap to cover it, but uh, there's no visible change to the compost heap. And that's because I still need to make the model stage for when the tarp's covering the compost heap. So here's the new model stage of the compost heap with the tarp on it. Uh, I also updated the code in the compost heap component so that when you put on the tarp it switches to that model stage and then here in the game I've got my tarp, I click on that, click on the compost heap and that puts the tarp onto the compost heap and that then starts the composting process. What I'm working on now is the functionality for the compost heap when it contains compost instead of plant matter. And luckily I don't really have to do much programming here because I've already implemented a component that does pretty much exactly what I want. Back when I was implementing the compost bins, I implemented the compost bin component, which allows them to store compost and have compost taken from them. And that's pretty much exactly what I, what I want for the compost heap as well. So I'm going to be able to reuse this. Um, I'm just making a few tweaks to it now to make sure that it works with the compost heap as well. One thing I will have to do now though, is to make all of the model stages for the compost heap for when it contains compost instead of when it contains plant matter, which is what I've done so far. I finished making all of the compost model stages for the compost heap and then using them together with that component that I was previously using for the compost bins, I got the taking compost from the compost heap part of this whole thing set up. So I've got an empty bucket here, I can click on the compost heap to remove some compost from it and put it in the bucket and then I can use that compost and spread it on the soil here. So taking compost from the compost heap is all working fine. Adding plant matter to a compost heap is also done. Uh, now I just need to tie those two concepts together and work out how the transition between these two stages uh, is going to happen. But before I do that, I've just got a few little chores that I want to do on my balcony. Pretty much got this whole thing working now. So I've just been filling this compost heap up with plant matter and then whenever I want, I don't have to wait till it's full. Whenever I feel like it, I can put the tarp over the compost heap and then after some time, the plant matter will get converted into compost and I can then use that compost uh, in my farm. Um, the one slight problem that I still have with this is that you lose the tarp item each time. You don't get it back, which isn't really ideal. So that's what I'll try and fix tomorrow.
just been adding the final touches to this feature this morning and it is all done now so let's have a look at the whole process from start to finish so when you're working in your garden you're going to start collecting this excess plant matter which you can use to fill up your compost heap then whenever you want to convert it to compost you just put a tarpaulin over the compost heap at this stage it would be nice to have a progress bar somewhere showing how far along the conversion is I'll probably add that when I do the next iteration of this feature sometime. Um, one thing I did implement this morning though is that when the compost is ready, the tarpaulin now just rolls back and stays on the compost heap until you take the first bit of compost from it. So if I get an empty bucket and use that on the compost heap, not only do I get compost from the compost heap, but it also gets the tarpaulin back. So that's now in my inventory. So I've got the tarpaulin back, I've got the compost, and I can now use that and spread it around my vegetables to help them grow better. So that's going to be it for this week. Next time I'm going to be working on the second iteration of the tool system. So I'm going to be improving the way that the player uses tools in the game, trying to reduce the amount of clicks that the player has to do, because at the moment there's a lot of clicking involved in the game, which isn't quite what I want. Before I finish, I want to give a big shout out to the top Patreon supporters from last month, who were Frederick Dowlin, Dave Handley, Chris Naismith, TRC Terracoin, Seven Sign Bits, Albert Gutierrez, George Fedorov, Alan Lance, Yuri Kranovic, Josiah Hillman, Busfara Walter, Dieter Reinert, Harry Chung, John Needham, Christoph Herpo, Adam Farkas, Mario Martins, Gregory Horvath, Hagen Vingard, Matthew Connerton, Thomas Johnson, Leandro Di Pietro, Miggy Doz, Andrew Witt, Marek Mikolajczyk, Sean McCrory, Caffeine Coda, Timothy Gibbons, Alexander Chavez, and Neil Blakey Milner. So a massive, massive thank you to you guys, and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. For this week though, that is it, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. <laughs>